the hell? What happened? Pardon me. Is there something going on in Mirage's house? Well, yeah! This guy flew in from out of the sky all of a sudden. Yeah, and then he just went inside Mirage's house without saying anything. You think he's a friend of hers? <gasps> he didn't look very friendly if you ask me. No doubt about it. That's one of the ten wise men. Ah, you came. Took you long enough. Damn you! I'll make you pay for what you did! <laughs> like you're in any position to talk. How many lives have you taken in your little journey so far, hmm? The only lives we took were the monsters you created! Fools! You're completely incapable of seeing things from other people's perspectives. Ah, very well. If you insist on getting in our way, I have no choice but to get rid of you. What? This Are is really bad. I thought you were dead! I'd appreciate it if you wouldn't leave me for dead quite so quickly. But... I figured the only way I'd survive this little encounter was if I played dead. That's why I didn't put up a fight. Are you alright now? Better than before, at least. Thanks to Reyna. What was the mayor thinking? Doesn't he have any idea how much danger I'm in, doing this for him? I think assistance from the Centropolis will be arriving soon. I appreciate it, guys. We're definitely starting to make them worry. If they didn't regret spending too much time on preparations before, they sure are now. That's the impression I got, too. We might be in a better position than I thought, but don't get too comfy yet. You're right. We heard that Dr. Mirage was attacked. Yeah, but we took care of it. Oh, really? Well, then I'm glad she's okay now. I also have a message from the mayor. He said to come to Lakwa immediately once you've rescued Dr. Mirage. Lakwa? Everything's ready for you. They're all on standby, ready to leave whenever you are. Well, this is it. The final battle. I wish you the best of luck. We're all counting on you.
Hey, you've arrived. Sorry we took so long. Where's Nal? He's inside the laboratory waiting for you. Got it. That Welcome. Claude, is it safe to say that you are fully prepared for the final battle that lies ahead? Yes, Mayor. We've got the items we need, and we've settled all our affairs. We're as ready as we'll ever be. Good. Let's go to the other room, then. There's something I want to talk to you about. I hear that you've already defeated three of the ten wise men. We sure have. That leaves us with seven to go. Excellent. It's too early to celebrate quite yet, though. Those three were at the lowest level of their hierarchy, the weakest of the wise men. The remaining seven that lie before you are going to be fighting on a completely different level from the first three. Stop trying to scare us like that, Mayor. I'm sorry. I don't mean to undermine your morale before the final battle. But it remains the truth, I'm afraid. Trust me, I promise you we'll win this. Very well. The second invasion of Fenal is set to begin tomorrow at daybreak. I hope you enjoy this last night in Lockwai, everyone. The last night. Sorry to make you come over here all of a sudden. It's all right. What is it, though? Can't sleep? No, it's not that. Do you mind if I sit next to you? Oh, sure. No problem. Listen, Claude. Hmm? I, I thought I'd just give you my thanks while I still had a chance. Your thanks? Thank you, Claude. I never would have made it this far without you beside me. Reyna. You have no idea how much I appreciate what you've done, how you saved Alan and my mother. Whenever I thought I was going to break down, you were there to support me. I... it was nothing like that. It all worked out because you never gave up on yourself, Reyna. Claude. I... I just gave you a little push. You did all the rest by yourself. Besides, you've given me a lot of courage to work with, Reyna. Whenever I was anxious or I didn't know what I should do for whatever reason, your presence was the only thing that helped me keep it all together. Claude, I... Reyna, you know, once we finish this, there's something I'd like to tell you after we get back to Expel. Something you want to tell me? Yeah, something important. You think you'll be ready to listen to it? Sure, Claude. I will be ready. Hey, Reyna? Let's make it back to Expel alive, okay? Yeah. Promise? I promise.
Well, here's to your good fortune. What's this? The symbol of divinity. The symbol of divinity? Yes. You remember the symbol of annihilation I mentioned after the previous battle, right? I think so. The symbol with the power to destroy the entire universe, right? It wouldn't help much to defeat the Ten Wise Men if the universe winds up falling apart. If, by some circumstance, the Wise Men set off the symbol of annihilation, I want you to use this. If you can do that, then the power of the symbol of annihilation will be driven elsewhere. Someplace else? It'll alter the target of the symbol's power, thus keeping the universe from being destroyed. Right, Mayor? Yes, precisely. Mirage? You're already moving around? I'm certainly not going to stay in bed at a time like this. The energy field surrounding Fino will probably disappear once you defeat the Ten Wise Men. If you can pull it off, we'll finally have all of Energy Need's power back online. Then we'll be able to use temporal shifting to bring Planet Expel back from the past. Temporal shifting? To put it in layman's terms, we'll basically pull Expel back from the time before it collided with Energy Need. I suppose this could lead to time paradoxes and so forth, but it'll get Expel back for us at the very least. We'll head for Fenal ourselves once the energy field is gone. I wish you luck. Thank you. Then we'll see you later. Let me know if you want to return to Lakwa. Be careful. Come on, let's go! Hello there. We've been expecting you for quite a while now. Allow us to introduce ourselves. It'd be just too pitiful to get killed by someone you don't even know the name of, you see. Starting with me, my name is Zadkiel. Raphael. And I'm Kamael. Now that that's out of the way, I trust you've written up your wills and everything before you came here, yes? Don't worry. We'll try to keep it as painless as possible. Not if I can help it. We've got the hopes of the entire universe riding on our shoulders. <laughs> Thanks for the humor. Now die. Don't let your guard down! This looks difficult.
unexpected. How could this happen? I've never heard of anything like this. Why? How could we have not foreseen this? We've only got four left. Let's go.
We got visitors, honey -o. You trash! We've had enough of your meddling. Let's go, Michael! Hold on! Ain't no need to rush things. Huh? Looks like they killed everyone below us. Man, this is pathetic! You ready to die? Your number's up! <laughs> You're gonna kill us? <laughs> That's funny! <laughs> I haven't laughed this hard in ages! What's so funny? Ooh, tough crowd. You have no idea what you've gotten yourselves into, do you? You made it this far, I'll credit you that. How about we celebrate it by beating you to death? You do realize that this is completely meaningless. Resistance is futile. I think we'll need to teach you that no matter how much you worms wiggle, you're still nothing but worms in the end.
fun for us. Oh, it's these guys again. Enemies. Well, I'd say that's worth 10 out of 10.
If you've made it this far, I suppose this means there's only Gabriel and myself left. You got it! I hope you're ready to join the rest! Hmm. They're dead, are they? <laughs> Everything's according to plan. I knew spreading ourselves out and forcing you to fight us one by one would work. What are you saying? <laughs> now, all I have to do is kill Gabriel. And then the universe will be mine alone. That bug-ridden reject is hardly any match for the great Lucifer. So you let your friends get killed on purpose? Hmm? Oh my. You're still alive. I couldn't have asked for a better set of pawns. I suppose you deserve some kind of reward for your efforts. So what would you like? Wealth? Power? Hmm? You don't look like you'd be too interested in either. Well, death it is. We'd best brace ourselves. This looks a little rough. There's a one-way ticket to hell, sound. The price? Your lives! This can't be happening. Not too shit. Not to me. Level up. I think I'm a bit I just figured out man, something man. new. was so close to having the universe in my hands. Just one more to go. Let's go, Claude. Right.
Your twisted schemes are all gonna end here. Now I'm gonna take you down, for the sake of our galaxy and to avenge my father! Well, you talk a good game anyway. However, I'm afraid you're too late. The symbol of annihilation is complete. Stop what you're doing now and give up immediately! You can't win! All of the other wise men are dead! You think I'll just give up? I'm the only one left, and why should I care about that? There is no need for anyone else but me. I could have completed it with or without the other wise men. You see, there was really only one person that I needed. And now, dear Philia, I am going to crush these insects and revel in their anguish. Let's enjoy it together. We'll begin this prelude to Armageddon! <laughs> Fate has already been decided. You will be deleted. Ha! 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 Star Flare! <laughs> Then for what reasons do I live? That Things was a close could have one. Gone better. Whoa! This isn't unexpected. You are wasting your time. The universe is doomed to extinction regardless. The symbol of annihilation is set to go off upon my death. One way or the other, my goal will come to fruition. Your goal? You can't rule the universe if you destroy it. Rule the universe? Who said I needed to rule the universe? If I cannot reign over it, then destroying everything will suffice just as well. Why? Why are you doing this? You would never understand. Destroying the universe is my life's work. It is the entire purpose of my existence. It is what we were created for. The only thing we were created to do. What? The symbol of annihilation has been activated. Your doom is inevitable, no matter what you do. Reyna, put the symbol of divinity on top of the symbol of annihilation. What are you doing? Hurry up before it's too late. Like it's starting. What do you mean? I thought the symbol of divinity would put an end to this. It will. In fact, it's the only thing that can halt the destruction of the universe. Well, what 
What's this shaking, man? I think it's getting worse. I told you, the symbol of divinity does not destroy the power, but simply diverts it to somewhere else. There are but a few places capable of withstanding a force strong enough to destroy the entire universe. What do you mean? The symbol of divinity has diverted all of the energy to energy need. No! What'll happen to energy need? I'm afraid that any trace of its existence will soon disappear. Oh no! Please don't worry. We will use the energy freed by the explosion to teleport you far away from energy need. Expel will be transported from the past to the present as well. That way, you'll finally have everything back. That's not the problem right now. Well, it beats losing the entire universe, doesn't it? The symbol of annihilation was one of the most horrible sins of the Nidians. You don't have to feel sorry for us. Need has existed well beyond its natural life. So long that it had the ability to destroy all of outer space on a whim. No civilization in existence developed more fully than Need. The end of the road has to come sometime. Why didn't you tell us about this? If I had known you were going to sacrifice energy need over this, then I would have done something. You've always been so kind to us. If you knew the truth, you would have hesitated to act at the moment we needed it the most. That's why we asked Dr. Chandler to keep it to himself. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to deceive you. Wait. Why don't we just bring everyone on energy need along with us? We can't. There isn't enough energy to transport hundreds of millions of people to expel. Besides, we want to stay with our homeland in its dying moments. We've now realized that when a civilization refuses to evolve, then it loses all reason for its existence. Reyna and Dr. Chandler, you will be the last survivors of the Nidian race. I want you to make the best of it. I... I don't... I'll try my best, sir. This is where we say goodbye. No, I... It's all right. It's remarkable how serene we feel right now. I'm sure it's because our hearts are finally one with all of yours. Farewell. Please remember what we fought for.
It's been a long time since that little journey of mine. I kind of miss everybody. Hope they're all doing okay. Aw, trying to cheer me up, little guy. Thanks. Lunchtime! All right. See you later, okay? Okay. Let's play some more later. What were you playing? Oh, you know, tag, hide and seek, that sort of thing. Well, great. I'll be back at home, okay? Leon's certainly a lot more cheerful than he used to be. He sure is. He never used to smile and laugh like this. I think the way we used to treat Leon was a terrible mistake. We never allowed him to be a kid. Kids that age need to get dirty. They need to run around, skin their knees a couple of times, and have fun with their life. Hey, Bowman. Oh, hello there, Keith. Boy, long time no see, that's for sure. What's that supposed to mean? You act like you haven't seen me in years. Well, I've been pretty busy with stuff. What brings you here? Oh, right. Remember that book you gave me? I've pretty much finished translating it, so I thought I'd report back to you on it. What book? What, you don't remember? That ancient text you and those guys brought me from Cross Cave? Oh, that one. Apparently, it's some kind of ancient mythological history. It's full of old legends about the domain of the gods that existed long ago. The domain of the gods? That's right. Unfortunately, there are too many missing pages for me to make out all of the details. Say, uh, that domain wouldn't be called Need by any chance, would it? How did you know that? Oh, just a guess. I don't think I'm on the right track here. Well, I guess it's the hit-and-miss part of treasure hunting that makes it so exciting, after all. Hmm, maybe I'll try delving a little further in. There might be something more interesting waiting for me inside. So when do you think you'll be back, Claude? Hmm, well... I'll be involved in military exercises in Sector Beta, so probably not for another six months or so. I see. Well, be careful. I'm sorry that I'm always leaving you like this. It's alright. You're just doing your job. Besides, I don't think I'm going to be alone for much longer. Whoa! What?! <laughs> Do I have to spell it out for you? By the time you get back, you're going to be a father. <laughs> 